Welcome to my workshop. This messed up place, but uh, luckily uh, only so little is in the frame. Uh, so you're not able to see the God blessed mess all around me. From time to time when you uh, working with uh, Arduinos, fiddling with these Chinese copies or the real thing, please uh, send them a buck once in a while in Italy. You are fiddling with the um, TX signaling, uh, TTL levels, O volts for zero and uh, 5 volts for um, for the 1 uh, bit and uh, you might want to uh, communicate with something uh, like a projector um, with the RS232 protocol and um, that is where you can run into a little bit of trouble uh, but don't worry the solution is simple um, as mentioned, uh, TTL, you have uh, the level 5 volts, or it could be 3.3 volts, but uh, in this case 5 volts for uh, the 1 bit, and uh, 0 volts for uh, 0 bit. The RS232 control um, is working uh, the opposite way around, and it's working with uh, greater voltages uh, in that way that uh, it has got everything from uh, minus 3 to, well, I don't know, maybe minus 25 volts or more, but typically around 10 or 12 volts uh, minus and uh, the same value as a plus value. And um, whenever you have uh, zero TTL values, you need to convert it uh, to um, plus 10 or 13 volts and whenever you have uh, the one bit well it's opposite you have to uh, go to the negative value in this case minus 13 10 volts or whatever you're working with uh, for this purpose um, the max 232 chip is uh, really a, a great thing because uh, it got all those uh, wonderful, uh, wonderful conversion uh, things inside, and it's uh, got uh, voltage uh, doublers, a little voltage pump with uh, voltage pump capacitors. Um, so essentially, you can uh, put in your TTL values and get them converted out as RS232. And uh, it can go uh, both ways around, and it, is, it has even got uh, two inputs and two corresponding outputs, and as well the other way around, two inputs and two corresponding outputs. Um, in my little project, I only need to uh, convert uh, one way around from um, TTL and uh, to uh, RS232 and here that's why I'm pointing is the little Max232 chip in a way it's um, a Chinese knockoff as well but you know uh, this is uh, some prototyping um, for a project where I'm going to uh, control uh, a projector and um, I've built it around uh, those um, Fuga, uh, I don't know what to call them, it's a Danish system uh, that fits into Danish uh, wall outlets, but uh, the, idea, uh, the idea is to have a neat little uh, wall mount control, uh, so uh, you don't have to use the remote control and you can um, just press for example PC and the projector will start up and uh, um, it will uh, select uh, the correct uh, input and um, yeah it's of course done uh, via simple um, Arduino uh, programming with uh, edge detection uh, to uh, test which bottoms I'm pressing 
And now for some handheld action. Idling uh, on TTL is uh, the positive uh, 5 volts. Um, so right now uh, the system is uh, idling. I try to press one of my buttons. I've named them uh, A, B, C and so on. And um, let's take a single shot and uh, I'll press one of the keys right now. And here you go. Nice uh, values of uh, zero, uh, zeros and ones. And um, let's take channel 2 because channel 2 is uh, connected to this uh, IS232 converter. And uh, let's turn it on and have a look. Here we are in idle mode again, and uh, you can see uh, the charge pump is around 8 or 9 volts minus, and it's idling, and uh, the TTL levels is uh, idling as well on uh, plus 5 volts. We have uh, ground in the middle. And uh, let's take a new single shot, and I'm pressing a key. There we go, and uh, let's zoom in and see the action, and here you can see well, the TTL has got uh, plus 5 volts as uh, the 1 bit, um, IS232 has got uh, minus 9 volts from the charge pump. Now the wonderful thing about this uh, oscilloscope is uh, well when it's in its uh, hacked mode you can actually uh, make it uh, decode the protocol for you let's have a look decode and um, something is is coming up and here you can see it's decoding the bits are collected in blocks called bytes with 8 bits in every block and there's a start and stop bit as well. And uh, let's make a new uh, single shot and I'll press the last uh, bottom in my little system. It will correspond to the lower bottom in the right corner. And there we go. This is bottom F. Okay. Here's the ASCII table, the various values for the characters. And um, for example, you can see that uh, if you want the letter in uh, upper capitals A, it is uh, equivalent to decimal uh, 65. The number and uh, we want to send that uh, out in eight uh, bits also called a byte and it would be zero one zero 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 one sixty four plus one this um, 65 and there's an A and to send those values uh, you'll have to include uh, the start and end bit as well so you'll have to send uh, all in all um, 10 bits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 As you've probably seen in this little project, I'm uh, connecting uh, the Arduino on the back of my control, like this. And uh, the little IS232 converters, they come out in these very neat little PCBs, very small. And uh, 
I've been able to fit one onto the PCB, so it's hidden in there. And I've uh, mingled a little around and taken the signal from uh, the uh, Maxim chip out here. At some point I'll make a separate video about this uh, Arduino based projector control. For right now I'll just say that it's uh, simple uh, Arduino programming. There's a uh, edge detection for the bottoms and serial sent to uh, IS232. And I'm also using a standard library um, with uh, infrared commands. So uh, I'm able to send commands to um, uh, devices without RS-232 ports. So this concludes our little video about converting TTL to RS-232 and thus sending those commands with the Arduino. Thank you for watching and have a good one.